Okay, everybody, Steve and I are walking over to the constructed vernal pool that he made with that four-wheeler many years ago. I think you can probably hear some of the frogs already singing. There's chorus frogs, a few wood frogs, and spring peepers. The spring peepers seem to get a lot louder at night. We're going to walk over there and we're going to see if anybody lets us get close while they're still singing. So remember, most of the woods all around us here is not ours and there are some little vernal pools and so these frogs have come from those vernal pools and are now using this vernal pool and some species like wood frogs have extreme sight affinity so wherever they're born they're going to want to go back to and reproduce so it's pretty exciting to steve and i that we made this and now it's their home birthing pool when we get up here you're going to see there's a lot of algae in this pool too it just gets a lot of sun at this time of year uh, but it doesn't seem to have any negative effects okay here we go The comb-like sounds are the chorus frogs and the quacks are the wood frogs and the peeps are spring peepers. And just like that, they know we're here. I can see over by the log some masses in the water. Those are wood frogs. There might be salamander in here. They get an outer layer of gelatinous material, so it's smooth versus bumpy. But those are wood frogs. There's a big egg mass just left in that wood frog. So we, yeah, we, there's, I think, like four clusters over there at least. And yesterday, Steve and I watched a red-shouldered hawk hopping around this edge of the vernal pool and totally snagged a chorus frog and flew off into the trees and were, was eating them. So they've been really active in this corner. There's our corner post. There's a nest in there somewhere, but we don't know where it is yet. But it's very exciting. They're always kier, kier, kier. And all the amphibians in here, they know their food for a lot of different critters. So when we come around, uh, they're like, oh, we don't trust you either. So we're going to be quiet. But I think they also say, thank you so much for making us a home. And the frog pond we made with the liner, y'all, also has all of these same species in there. So if you have the ability to do it, we highly, 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 highly recommend making some vernal pools and frog ponds. Don't stock them with fish. Just let the frogs and the invertebrates do their thing. You'll be very, very, very excited, as will they.